Uh, Senator Mullen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And <clears throat> uh, I, uh, I do apologize about coming in late, and I apologize for having to leave, too, because as Mr. Bennett referred to, our schedules are changing a lot right now today, and all of us is kind of up in the air. I do want to say real quickly, though, thank you for um, how, having this hearing today on Senate Bill 3022, IHS workforce, uh, all of us that live or, or uh, like I do in Indian country or work um, for Indian country understands that's a huge need. Uh, I've mentioned it multiple times. I grew up without insurance because uh, we had Indian health services. Uh, Hastings, uh, which is a Tahlequah Hospital, was uh, for Cherokee Nation, was uh, was the healthcare place, and so the workforce need is need is real and it's a it's a dire strait. So I appreciate you hearing that. And then also, uh, Senate Bill uh, two seven nine six, which is the Miami, not Miami, Miami, Illinois Land Claim Settlement Act, which is what I have worked with um, my good friend. Uh, I mean, I say really good friend. I mean that because when we first met, um, uh, Chief, you had a full head of hair and he's built like a warrior. Um, <laughs> that is, that's quite the opposite now, sir, but uh, I, you're working on it. I get that. But uh, Chief Lankford and I go, go way back. The only hit I have on him is that, and you guys can't really judge him on this. I do. Uh, but he went to school in Missouri, and 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 so. But I understand where the Miami tribe is. It's right on the line, so it's close enough that we'll accept him. But just to give you kind of a little background, uh, Chief Langford, um, he has served the Miami tribe since 2008, both as second chief and chief since 2013. Chief Langford directs the tribe's government affairs of the federal, state and intertribal levels. He's responsible for management and oversight of the multi-million dollar budget for various federal grants and tribal entities. Sadly, as I said before, he went to school in high school in, uh, in Missouri, but, um, but I think we all claim he is in Oklahoma now, and you've worked tirelessly uh, up in Ottawa County for, for not just your tribe, but for the people that live in and around um, your all's reservation and it goes uh, it doesn't go without notice it's something that uh, it's a bragging point for me to see how you interact with everybody that lives and interacts uh, inside your reservation as I mentioned before he is a he is a very good friend of mine uh, that's why I can joke and make fun of him and I'm sure I'll have that one coming back at some point and and just to kind of give you a brief overlay of the of the Miami um, Illinois land claim settlement bill this has no cost at all related to it it's actually if you take a look at it it makes perfect sense but you and i have been fighting this for years i offered this bill up in the house uh i think the first time was in 2014 so. and uh and now we're here in the senate and i really hope we take a, a hard look at this and, and get this behind us it's it's sad when you see something that makes sense and really should have no pushback it takes years to make it right especially inside any country so chairman for just allowing this to go this far so far i just want to tell you how much i truly truly appreciate it and i'll speak for the chief too i know he really appreciates it too so thank you for this time thank you very much uh, senator mullen um chief langford please proceed with your testimony <coughs> 